Okay. So Hugh Jones, player to watch. He plays for Scotland and he's and he's young and that's two things that are interesting. The Scottish side for many years were struggling. Um they couldn't translate how their Edinburgh and Glasgow clubs and the players playing at other clubs around the UK or the top fourteen or wherever they're playing in the world, they couldn't get them playing for the international side. They were ch- there was an issue with the international side. Now Scotland are suddenly climbing up the world rankings and there's a reason for this. They've injected a lot of youth and pace and fresh ideas. Gregor Townsend as a young coach, it's other players. Hugh Jones. He's burst on the scene the last year and a half. God, he's quick. He's a centre who is in the mould of Brian O'Driscoll, except he's a bit bulkier than Brian O'Driscoll. Um, but that's how I'm going to compare him. His skill set, I can see him being similar to, if not better than. Um, and to compare any player to Brian O'Driscoll uh, is, is saying something about how good I think this player is. He still has my, uh, still defensively there's a few flail, flails and fails, as I'll call it, in his game. He, he needs to some work with his defensive partners. It doesn't matter if it's a forward or back, an extra communication. And that will come with more games in the national side. It will come. They communicate with teammates in certain situations. But he is a quick player. His line running can break through. And it's just there once he's broken through finding the correct pass to a supporting teammate. Sometimes that goes amiss. He holds on to it, maybe, or gives a pass when he shouldn't. It's all about decision making, but he's got a good basis for his game. His skill set is there. It's just fine tuning those little bits and pieces and making it just that little bit better. Um, but also, he's had a great autumn series. Uh, I think he, he and this six days, and he's, he's more than capable of of honing those skills for the World Cup next year. So he's got this Six Nations, next year's Six Nations, and a couple of, and this year's Summer Tour coming up, and then I think a few warm-up games, and then the, the World Cup. So he's only got a limited amount of games with the Scottish set of high skills. And he can hone him at his club level as well. International level is that little step up. And I think, you know, he will go on. I can see a future, again, a future line jersey on him. Um... And that is high praise for someone his age as well. He's uh, he's still, uh, I think, 21, 22. He's still a very young player. He's not come onto the scene late. He's he's very, very young, very raw talent. And he's not a mould it a little bit. And what I've seen with some players is they, they coach some of their flair out. Keep his flair there. That's what makes him so interesting. That's where I think the French have gone wrong. Is they've over-coached their players and coached the flair out and made them too rigid. And what French rugby thrives upon at at a semi-pro and amateur level is their flair. They just throw it around. If the French team played like Hugh Jones, the French would win every Six Nations. <laughs> but they don't. It also depends what French team turns up. Well, but yeah. But Hugh Jones, he plays with a style that is I can relate to Brian O'Driscoll, but then a more powerful centre as well. He, he plays with a bit more power than Brian O'Driscoll. He's a little bit less... But it's high price to compare him. And I think he's got a fair ways to go so he can be on the same level as Brian O'Driscoll, but I can see a lot of the Irish century in him. Um, but he's, he's, he's got to develop a few areas in his game. He's like Josh Navidi. He's come on the scene. There was an injury. He got brought in. Um, and he's sort of stuck around. And he's now nailing down. putting his hand up for a permanent place in that squad. Um, and he's all, all credit to him. There are still a few gaps in, in the Scotland side as a whole, is their, is their concentration. They're trying to play too quick too too much, and sometimes Hugh Jones is guilty of overplaying. But he's developing as the national side development, and it's going to be a great story to watch. Even though I'm not a Scotland fan, it's going to be a great story to watch because you've got the Lions in a couple of years, I think three years' time, you've got the World Cup uh, next year in a year and a half's time. So these are interesting times to be involved with the national side going forward. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, place comments below and I'll have some more videos for you soon.